today I'm going to be talking about points, lines, and planes. This is your basic vocabulary for Chapter 1 of Geometry. So let's start on a point. A point has no dimension. It's represented by a dot. If you look at a map, you can see a black or red dot on a map where Houston is. That's just the location of Houston. It has no dimension. That dot isn't actually there. It just tells you the location of something. When we draw a picture of a point, we use a dot and an uppercase A, and the notation for that is point A. That's the name we give it. That's the notation we give it. The next one is a line. It has one dimension. It's rep represented by a line with two arrowheads, and it extends without end. So those two arrowheads that we draw symbolize that it goes on forever and ever and ever. It's infinite. And whenever we have a line, we have to have at least two points. I'm going to put A and B on there. Okay. And the notation that we can give this is line AB. And the symbol that we use is a miniature line with the two arrowheads that symbolize going on forever. We can also name it line BA. All right. The next one is a plane. It has two dimensions, and it's represented by a shape that looks like a floor or a wall. And this also extends without end, just like a line. This kind of looks like a parallelogram to me. Okay, kind of a slanted rectangle. And we have to have at least three points on a plane. And the notation for this, or the name, is plane ABC. We also can name it plane BAC or CBA. The order does not matter as long as we pick three letters that are located within the plane. All right, next up is collinear points. Co meaning share and linear meaning line. So they share the same line. They lie on the same line. So I'm going to draw a picture. Let's draw a line with a few points on it. Okay, one over here. Now, if we look at this, we have some points that lie on the line and then a point that does not. So point D is a not collinear or non-collinear. But A, B, and C are collinear, so we can say that points A, B, and C are collinear. Same with coplanar points. It's points that lie on the same plane. So we can draw a picture of a plane, a few points on there. Of course, we have the three points within the plane, and then D that is not, which is non coplanar. So we can say that points A, B, and C. are coplanar. All right, next up we have a line segment. Okay, it consists of two endpoints and all points in between, and this can be measured. The difference between a line and a line segment is that a line goes on forever. It cannot be measured, and a line segment has a beginning and an end, and we can take out a ruler and we can measure it. So if we draw this, we have two endpoints. Notice that we have a start and a stop, and we can take out a ruler and measure that. And so that is a line segment. So the notation for this is line segment AB, and we put a little dash above it with no arrows, because the arrows mean infinite, and this is not infinite. It starts and it stops. Or we can name it line segment BA. And make sure that we have the correct notation for this. If we do not have the correct notation, then we are going to be talking about something else. So it's really important to make sure we have the correct symbols for our geometric figures. All right, up next is a ray. It consists of one endpoint and then all points extending infinitely in one direction. So we're going to draw one endpoint. And then remember the symbol, the arrow, signifies that it goes on forever, infinitely. And then array has to have at least two points. Okay, and when we name this, we always have to start with the endpoint. So when we name this ray, we name it ray AB. And then we put a little miniature ray with the arrow pointing in the right direction. Okay. 
we cannot name it ray BA because it's not going infinitely in the direction of A. It's going infinitely in the direction of B. So the only notation for this is ray AB. Okay, now we have two opposite rays. Two opposite rays are two rays with the same endpoint that point in opposite directions. So I'm going to use different colors for this one. So the first one, I'm going to name ray AB. And then I'm going to draw another ray that points in the exact opposite direction. And I'll put another point on here. Now, if we look at this very closely, it looks exactly like a line, because it is. A line goes on forever in both directions, and so does opposite rays. So opposite rays make up a line. Now, the notation for this is we have to be really careful because we have to use correct notation for rays. So the blue ray, we're going to name it ray AB. And, and the red ray, we're going to name AC because the endpoint for ray, the red ray is also A. So we say ray AC. And whenever we do the notation, the arrow has to point to the right every single time. I'm going to say that ray AB and ray AC are opposite rays. All right, and the last one is intersection. That's when two or more geometric figures, figures have one or more points in common. Now, I have three major intersections that I'm going to talk about. There's infinitely more intersections than this, but these are the three main ones that we do see. The first intersection is an intersection of two lines. And when two lines intersect, they intersect at a point. And we can say that they intersect at point A. The next one that we're going to look at is an intersection of a plane and a line. So I'm going to draw a plane. And then I'm going to see a line cutting right through the middle. It doesn't have to be in the middle. It can be anywhere. But when it goes right through, intersects right through that plane, it intersects at point A. So also, when a plane and a line intersect, it's at a point. Then the third intersection that we're going to look at is at two planes. Here's our first plane. Here's our second plane. And this one's a little bit more difficult to see, but if you look where they both touch, is all the way across. It's easier to see if you hold up two pieces of paper together. You can see that they touch all the way across. So when two planes intersect, they intersect at a line. So the intersection of two planes is at line AB. If you'd like me to show you that in class, I can show you real quick with actual figures so you can see that a little bit better. So now let's take everything that we've learned and answer a few questions, okay? The first one is, what is the proper way to name this figure? Now I'm going to make these arrows a little bit easier for you to see. Okay, so let's just test our knowledge. So what we're looking at is a ray. And we want to make sure that we name this correctly, because sometimes this can be a little confusing. Okay? So now when we name a ray, we always start with the endpoint. And in this case, the endpoint is O. So now if we look at A, B, C, D, and E, we need to look for the names that start with O. So we've let, we're, we're down to D and E. So one of these two is the correct answer because they start with O, which is our endpoint. And now if you remember back when I was talking about the notation for array, the arrow always points right no matter what. So D is going to be our correct answer. Let's try another one. This next one is a line segment. And when you name a line segment, you only use two points. You only use two points. So A cannot be the answer, first off, because it has three points. We never use three points to name a line segment, so we can cross out A. So now we have these four left over. When we name a line segment, we always use the two endpoints, and the two endpoints are R and S. So now we can cross out TS, because those will not work. Those are not the endpoints. So now we're left with B and E. Well, when we name a line segment, remember we always have to put that dash right above it. So the only answer that we can have 
is B. RS, that little dash above it, signifying that it is a line segment. All right, let's answer some questions about intersections. Let's make sure we remember uh, what the intersections are. So the very first one on the top says, what is the intersection of two planes? Now, this is the one that I drew in green. And if you put two pieces together, they actually intersect at a line. All right. What is the intersection of a plane and a line? So it's like if I took a piece of, piece of paper and I put a pen right up to it, it touches up the tip or the point of the pen. So the intersection of a plane and a line is a point. And the very last one is what is the intersection of two lines? When two lines cross, they intersect at a point. Very nice. Okay. Now let's put all these pieces together and put them into one diagram. And let's see if we can name some of these figures. Now, there's more than one answer, but I'm just going to give one answer for each. But if you find some different ones, that's all right, too. Okay. So we're going to look th at this diagram to the right. And I'm just going to pick the first ray that I see. So it says name a ray. So I'm going to go over here. And I like ray uh, FH. So F is my starting point, and then it goes in the direction of H. So I can use the correct notation of ray FH. Your ray can start wherever you want, as long as it goes in the correct direction. Okay. My next one, I'm going to look for a line. I see one line, but you can name it several different things. So, uh, several different names. So I'm going to name this line AD. And of course, with the line, you have to make sure you have to have the two arrowheads on top to signify that it goes on forever, infinitely in both directions. Okay. The next one, we're going to do a line segment. And it can be any part of a line of a ray. And so we can pick any line segment, any two endpoints on this diagram. So I'm going to pick FH. Okay, so I can use line segment FH as long as I use the correct notation, that little dash with no arrows, telling you that we're looking at just that segment of that diagram, segment FH. Okay, there's a couple of colon air points, but the ones that I want to use are um, E, F, and H. So points E, F, and H. collinear. We could have used D, E, and A as well because those are also collinear. Okay. And our next one, let's look at coplanar, meaning they're on the same plane. So we're going to use points, I'm going to pick C, B, and G. We also could have chosen E if we wanted to. And using our coplanar points, we actually can name that plane. So we can name it plane C, B, G or G, B, C. Remember the order doesn't matter when naming this plane. Okay? And our very last slide is very similar to this. Okay? We're just finding different pieces of this diagram, seeing if we can figure out what goes with what. And this time I'm asking for an amount of each figure. Okay? So if, if we look at this, I'm going to name three rays. And there's more than that, but I just want to find three rays. Let's see if you get the same ones as me. Okay, the first one, let's try a ray MO. I like that one. Uh, let's try, try ML. Remember, we have to have the correct notation. And no matter which way the ray points, whenever we have the notation, it always has to point to the right. And let's try ray MP. We can do that one as well. OK, and there's a couple more, but those are the three that I like. OK, I'm going to name two line segments. It doesn't matter which two. There's more than two. But I'm going to pick line segment NP. But make sure we have the correct that dash on top with no arrows. Okay, make sure we have the correct notation on that. And I'm going to pick a uh, line segment MO. I like that one. Okay, make sure we have the correct notation for line segments. So the biggest part of this section is make sure we have correct notation for the correct figure. Okay, for the next one, we just have to name one line. And I'm going to name line LO. And when we have a line, we have to make sure that we have the two arrowheads signifying that it goes on forever. Okay, our next one, collinear points. I'm going to pick points LMO. Or we could have picked MNP. Those are also collinear. Okay, and the very last um, question is name the intersection of line LO and of ray MP. Well, LO and MP, where they touch, is at point M. 
And there we have it.